today I'm going to be making a makeup tutorial and um, it's going to be kind of like natural but like glam so um, yeah this is my first video by the way I know people are going to see this so I'm trying not to act cringy because I know I get made fun of it that's a sad thing though like like I can't show who I am because of, I know my friends will see it and I know they'll be like oh mostly the boys like not the girls they wouldn't do anything but it's just really annoying do you know what I mean but who cares I'm making my makeup video because makeup is what I love so yeah let's get on with the video so first I'll be putting on some cream so I'm just gonna get the cream right now this is the cream so yeah let's use it so I'm just gonna take this for my primer because I don't really have any primer at the moment and I don't really like primer. I know people say primer is like the the key thing to a makeup but I don't know like I kind of don't wear primer only because I don't really wear makeup for like all day long. I kind of just wear it to make a TikTok or a video and then I take it off so I don't really wear it for that long so I don't really tend to put on primer. If you don't know what primer is by the way um, it is where it keeps your makeup on for a very long time and just holds it into place. So this primer is slightly, slightly sticky um, and that's the reason I like it because it grabs onto my foundation. And the foundation I'm going to be using is the Rimmel London Match Perfection. Um, and this is obviously too dark for me but when it's blended out it's actually a really nice colour. Then I'm going to be mixing this with it and this is the also concealer I'm going to be using so I mix them together. So. I'll be back when it is on my face actually and if you're wondering what brush I use I use this one it's kind of like a stippling brush and I'm just gonna mix these shades together and then look it's just like my perfect shade so I'm just gonna be applying this on my face okay now that it's kind of all on my face um what is that it's kind of like kind of a bit patchy so I'm just gonna go in with my beauty blender now so I'm just going to be using the same thing I mixed with my foundation for my concealer because it's actually quite light like as you can see it's quite light but it's not so light that it just looks ridiculous it just it's just like a nice brightening under the eyes so where you want to put your concealer is under your eyes chin and then the bridge of your nose and up here because those are like the places where you need highlights if so shall I say so I'll be back when I've done that. By the way, guys, I hope you like my intro. I've made so many intros, like, I've just been so bored, I'm making loads, so I'm just gonna have to choose which one I want, because I've made so, so many, and they're really, really, really nice, so I'm just gonna have to choose. By the way, my hair's in this, like, this weird, weird bun in the back, so, excuse that. Okay, um, now I'm going to be adding some powder. This was the Rimmel, Rimmel one, just like this Rimmel. This was Rimmel, but I've had it for so long, the writing scratched off. I do like this one, the Revolution Peach one, but it kind of leaves like a, this one's like white, so I like this one. That one's kind of got like a colour to it, and I don't really, don't really like that, so I'm just gonna pour it into the lid like that, and I kind of like, go like that, so it like spreads out, and then I just... Get it on my beauty blender and kind of just go like that and yeah so i've done that now guys and um i'm just going to oh <laughs> okay and i'm just going to be moving on to my eyebrows so the things i like to use is the this is benefit the benefit 24 hour brow setter so basically this is a clear clear gel and it like put it on your eyebrows and like press it down and it stays all day but you obviously have to do your eyebrows first if you want that look um and i like this it's the benefit gimme brow tinted eyebrow gel so it just like fills in i like that just like for filling in my eyebrows um then I have the, I don't use all these, I'm just showing you what I use for my eyebrows. Then I have the Benefit um, Precisely My Brow Pencil. And it's like got a really, really thin tip, so it's good for like doing little hair strokes kind of effect. And then it has a spoolie at the end, which like, if you want to get a fade in the front, it like, 
it diffuses it out so i really like them i've also got two more but i just need to find them <laughs> i'm going to be using this and the eyebrow gel because i used to do like proper like thick eyebrows uh, but i don't really like that look now i kind of like natural eyebrows so i'm just going to go in with this first and just spooling my eyebrows out trying to get them in a shape and trying to get the foundation out of them i've been trying to grow out my eyebrows for a long time now because they've been quite like small and like thin you couldn't really see them um but now i've like like just let them grow kind of not been putting any product on them and i kind of like them like the natural look so I'm just gonna go in with this and I'm gonna go and do some hair strokes so I'll be back when I've done that and by the snip of my fingers I'll be done so that's my eyebrows um as you can see from close up what is that they they were very effortless I really didn't have to put a lot of work in them um they're not like very good and that's because I want them to look natural um like I don't know like my natural eyebrows um so these are fine for me i haven't concealed them or anything um and I, as i said i'm kind of doing natural look slash slash um kind of extra like glam so that's my eyebrow next i'll be doing some eyeshadow so let's go now i will be curling my eyelashes for because look at these short short things they need to be lifted up and put mascara on so i'm just going to be using these pink eyelash curlers and i'm just going to curl my eyelashes okay so i've done that and now i'm going to be using the best mascara of all time if you are struggling to get your eyelashes quite long and just nice long um use the maybelline new york lash sensor sensor um full fan effect it's just so good. Okay, so I'm gonna do this eye first and I'll show you the difference, like, just watch. So as you can see, there's a big, 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 big difference. But I have got a little bit of mascara there. So what I will do now is I will go in with a makeup, a makeup wipe, and I will just put it at the end of my mascara thing. This is just a trick I've been doing for a long time. And then I'll kind of like erase it like that, any of the parts I've done. And there's like kind of no eyeshadow on it now. So then I will go back, I'll let it dry a bit. And then I will go back in with this. And I'll just go over it. <laughs> That's that. And now I'm gonna do my other eye because I can't leave one looking nice and one looking like it's been broken off for 70,000 years. So I've done that now and I want to do my bottom lashes so I'm just going to do that. Look what I just did. Fuming, fuming, fuming. So now that I've done that I'm going to be doing my same bronzer all across my face so I'll be done when I've done that. So now that I've done that I'm going to be doing my highlighter which is the Golden Goddess of Love in the shade Golden Goddess. Do my highlight and then I'm gonna do some of my temples obviously. You really need to do some on your temples. Then on your nose. And then I like to do some in my inner corners. So I've done that now and I'm going to be doing um my lips. So that's basically it, but now I'm gonna do my hair, I think so let's go so that's basically my get ready with me hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you guys learned something from this video and i hope i helped you guys out with stuff and yeah uh, make sure to like the video and subscribe so i can make more videos for you um yeah okay bye